What's good guys, it's Friarlations here with another Funko Pop pickup video. Now, in my last video I told you guys that some of the uh, figures weren't actually picked up by me, others were, some were gifts, so on and so forth. So, uh, actually after looking at the video more, just a small portion of those um, figures uh, shown in the last video were actually mine. A lot of them were gifts for others, or like I said, uh, my friends actually bought them at the event. So after that, uh, these are the pickups I've um, continued to get, as well as there's more already on the way. Um, after this video, I'll show you guys a few like trusted sites that have good uh, selections of these figures, whether it's exclusives or what have you, and a few little tips and tricks for anyone trying to get into the Funko Pop um, toy, you know, collecting. So, all right, guys, I'll start off with uh, my pickups um, that I got at Comic Con. Uh, the bottom row, I was able to get all of these at Comic Con. However, not from the actual Funko Pop booth, so I didn't. I paid a little bit over the um, retail price of fifteen bucks each, but I was able to complete the set from the Funko Pop booth. I actually got a Leonardo, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up with him, uh, one of my friends with uh, that extra figure that I got. Next up is Red Hulk. Um, definitely an awesome, awesome figure. There's no way I could pass it up. Especially the Comic Con variant with the red metallic um, paint. The, uh, I guess, GR version is just a flat red, as seen on the um, cartoon picture on the box. Uh, this Illidan I mentioned in the last video, I actually purchased on eBay. And um, luckily, the seller was still in San Diego. This was on the last day of Comic Con, and he was willing to meet up. I literally, basically, right after filming that, drove out there and uh, met up with him. Uh, the cool thing about this figure is it is like basically a preview for what's to come from Blizzard. So um, the rest of these figures, I looked online. I forget if they are going to come out in August or September, but you can start looking for um, more Blizzard figures around that time. I mean, the Tyrael and the Diablo are a must, and probably the Arthas as well. Uh, I would assume that, just like how that is a red metallic Hulk, um, the Illidan will come out in that purple colorway. This is like the Shadow Illidan, and so, um, yeah, this is the Comic Con exclusive variant. Next up, I actually picked these up today at um, Barnes & Noble's. Um, shout outs to, uh, I forget the dude's name, there was someone who, when I was walking out, he's a subscriber to the channel and watches the videos. So if you're watching this, man, uh, shout outs to you, and uh, it was nice meeting you. Alright, so, um, the cool thing with this Game of Thrones figure right here is um, the red dragon that she's holding is actually a um, like factory mess up. Uh, on the side of the box, you can see a green dragon with red wings, and that's how the figure is supposed to be printed. I guess some of the first shipments have the red dragon, and the Barnes and Nobles I went to, uh, it was the last one on the shelf, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Trust me, if they had more, I would have picked it up, and I would have no problem, you know, helping out anyone who is trying to get the Red Dragon um, variant. Lastly, I got this Boba Fett. Um, I went there specifically for this figure right here, but I'm a huge fan of Boba Fett, so seeing it on the shelf, I could not pass it up. Alright guys, so um, these are my newest pickups. Uh, stay tuned for another like informative Funko Pop video showing you guys some of the sites I've found and will continue to check out, and some little secrets on how to get some of the exclusive stuff um, at box price. So um, stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys later. Peace.